Well, good day, guys. Welcome to part seven of the trip. This is Mount Dare to uh, Uluru Campground. There's not a lot of audio in this one. Uh, a lot of it's just footage from the dash cam as we go along. I could have cut a lot of this out, but I wanted you to have a bit of a look at where we've been and where we're going and all that kind of stuff. So uh, uh, there's not a lot of uh, noise involved in this one. It's mostly just pictures. Anyway, I've got a little bit of commentary to go and uh, I just hope you enjoy it. It's a slightly shorter one than uh, what we have been doing, but hopefully you won't mind it too much. Uh, anyway, sit back, relax, and uh, we'll catch up with you a little bit later on. We spent last night at Mount Dare. It's Andrew coming across the border into, into the Northern Territory. We didn't do any video of Mount Dare. We got there a bit late. So we've left there 7.30 this morning. We're now on the Northern Territory. Today we will make Uluru. So stopping for the obligatory pictures as we get to the signs. So I'm going to get out of Andrew's way so that he can take his shots. I mentioned yesterday is the two guys, Pete and Mick, with the caravans, they decided to go a slightly easier way to be at Ayers Rock today. So they're going to meet us. They didn't come up through uh, Dalhousie yesterday. They continued on the Indonesia track. So it's just Andrew and his family at us today. There's the Mighty 100 in the same spot that ours was. So that's pretty well the guts of it. That's enough a beautiful day. Here in the Northern Territory.
Well, we've arrived at Lambert's Geographical Centre of Australia. It's been made famous in recent times by Jason Simon from All for Adventures. But, um, it's about 12, 14 k drive off the main track between Fink and Colgra. That's the, uh, the monument. Karen and I came out here 15 years ago, and 15 years ago, this was tiny, it was a dot. Didn't have all the camp areas. This pit toilet's here now, not the best pit toilets I've ever seen by a long shot, but they have them, just they didn't exist here last time. And you can camp here, obviously, and it's pretty well the middle. I don't know how this is going to show up on the camera. Take a photo of it, but anyway. Take some shots as well. People, for reasons unknown, have stuck padlocks on the chains here. Don't quite understand that. When I step over here, stand in this, put my feet down there, I'm standing right in the centre of Australia. It's about as middle as it can get. So there you go. The visitor book, the sign, which I'm pretty sure Karen has done. I'll have a look at a minute, make sure. This is one of these places you have to see. The absolute centre of the country. Anyway, we'll probably have a bite to eat or something and then continue on our way. See ya. <laughs>